And I remember one day he asked me to stay after to wash blackboards. Now this, is, this wasn't a punishment. This was a pleasure because we all adored him. And while I was washing the blackboard, I'll never forget this, he had My Fair Lady, he put on My Fair Lady. And he asked me to make numbers and letters with this wet sponge. And I did, and I think that is where the code showed up. That's when he realized I couldn't do it. And that I wasn't translating and reading, that something was wrong. And I remember he came up to me, his hand went right in the center of his back, and as I'm telling you this, I swear to God, I can still feel the warmth of his hands. And he slid down next to me and he says, oh honey, I think you have something that has a name. He said, you feel, you feel dumb, don't you? And I remember just bursting into tears and wanting to run away because of all people I wanted him to like me and I thought if he knew I was dumb, he wouldn't like me anymore. And instead, he opened the world up. He paid out of his own pocket for a specialist to work with me and this was before we had reading specialists like we do now. And I can't tell you what method worked. We did colored acetates, we did balance board, we did literally physical exercise, M.C. Escher paintings, I mean, you name it, we did it. But I will never forget the day that I could look at something on a piece of paper or in a book, get a mental image, and something would come out of my mouth that was the same thing. This was a miracle. So I said one word and it was right, then pretty soon it was a sentence, it was right. Pretty soon a paragraph, and then finally an entire page. So he changed everything, changed everything for me.